everyone, this is Pam here. I'm going to be answering a few questions that I've been receiving throughout the months regarding the um, the Good Grief project that we are currently working on. And the majority of questions so far are in regards to the bag the bags themselves. Um, people want to know if this is the only style of bag that we make. Um, they want to know if the bags come with zippers, how long it takes to make a bag, um, if they can bulk order bags. A lot of people want to order, um, you know, like hundreds. If I've had one woman ask me if I can make her a hundred bags at once, no cannot do that these bags are handmade um, literally from a strip of canvas that's blank um, people want to know the dimensions so also they want to know how they can become involved in the project but so far the majority of questions have to do with the bag and I, I need people to understand that I've been making these bags now since 2015, I believe. And throughout the years, I've, you know, twerked the model here and there. However, um, this is like the last... Let me turn this music off so I can concentrate. This is the... Um, this is pretty much... I don't want to say the last change that I'm going to make to the business, but this is a major change for me. It's been um, kind of a reset um, when it comes to my business model. So I don't mass produce the bags anymore. Um, I never really did. These bags are like handmade, handmade from scratch. As I said, from a, a strip of paper, I mean, strip of canvas that is blank. So um, I need people to understand that. Um, I have made the bags with um, zippers before, so I need people to understand now that this is more than than a bag. Um, even though the bag is functional, you can put stuff in there, and it's um, you know it's sturdy. It's still a bag. But moving forward with this business model, we are focusing on the utility that the bag brings. What this bag is able to do. What benefits that the person who holds the bag is able to receive? What access this bag is able to grant the um, the owner? Privileges such as with one bag, the its owner is able to access um, hydration therapy for a year. Some bags have a utility that is financial based. So that when the owner holds the bag for the suggested amount of time, they'll be able to unlock the rewards that are encrypted within the making of the bag itself. So once again, these are not just regular um, handbags. I had somebody ask me why someone would, well, they asked, she asked me, why would I pay $300 for a bag that doesn't have a zipper? Because if you hold the bag for the suggested amount of time, which should be about 18 months to so maybe two years, you can double or triple that amount of money. With that being said, Pam is not a financial advisor. If you purchase a bag and it depreciates in value and then you panic and sell it and then turn around to find out a month later or a year later it has tripled in value, that is up to you our within our discord we do have um financial literacy um videos and classes that people can um, join and learn more about depreciating and appreciating asset classes where to put your money at during times of inflation or recession now is the best time for artists and content creators we literally are at a um, point in history where we can literally print money out of thin air. 
we are at a time where we should, especially as artists, form or be forming um, groups or tribes where we do business amongst one another. We have actually reached a point in time where we can actually take our talents and keep them amongst um, ourselves instead of taking them and um, giving to giving them to people who have no interest in us at all. So it is a very um, a good time. It's a very good time if you have an ounce of creativity um, within you at all, even if you have a very even if you don't think that you're not a creative person you can actually be one and earn a living wage for your talents so with that being said i bid you adieu i am going to take your questions and i'm actually taking all of them and i'm putting them in the database because i don't like answering the same question over and over again. It's no nothing against you. I just am the type of person that I don't, as you see, I'm not on here a lot. So I could be doing better things with my time, but that's no disrespect to you. Thank you for your, your um, questions. I'm going to upload this on the um, many websites that I have. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the YouTube for sure. Then I'm going to also find a way to put it on, on the website. So thank you for listening. Peace.